This episode of Equestria Unlimited is brought to you by Flufflepuff's Fluffy Pillows. Good evening and welcome to Equestria Unlimited. I am your host, Casey Hasem. Stick with us tonight as we bring you the latest music and news from the world of Equestria. This week we have four new songs to bring you from the top 50 list of bronymusicbillboard.blogspot.com, voted on by you, our viewers. We will also be spotlighting a new talented artist this week. First up on the countdown is one of the newer songs to hit the top 50. Chiming in at number 48, this week we have Pwn3 with My Snowy Mare.
was My Snowy Mare by Pwn3. We have more awesome music to show you, but first we have Hackalot Spark with this week's feed. Thursday, June 5th, and here are your top stories. Start saving up, every pony. Hasbro and Shout Factory have announced that the sequel to Equestria Girls, titled Equestria Girls Rainbow Rocks, is expected to release in theaters September 2014, according to a recent article by Film Journal. Be expected to see the toy line of the same name released days after the movie drops. Next up, after long amounts of silence from the guys that brought us Fighting is Magic, Main 6 is back and they brought us some news regarding the status of their project. First off, they're now known as Main 6 Incorporated and they're currently in the process of finishing up some remaining legal issues. They're currently also in the process of making a crowdfunding campaign, so again, save up. And finally, iOS users, I hope you updated your Hub app. In a recent update by the Hub Network, the app has gotten a new game that is exclusive to iOS users. It's called Spike's Great Gem Challenge, and it's a Fruit Ninja-esque game where you slice up all sorts of gems and avoid slicing rocks as well as Angel Bunny. The update is available now through the iOS App Store. As always, to get the news you need to know, visit news.everfree.net and add us to your bookmarks or favorites. Also, follow the network at Everfree Network or myself personally at NextGenNerdist on Twitter. I'm Hackalot Spark, and you've just been fed. Now back to the countdown with Casey Hazem. Thank you, Hackalot. We've had a lot of new songs added to the list this week. This next song is no different. Coming in at number 44 is Hive, a work by Perwatsky Pony featuring the voice talent of Ellie Monty. Pony with Hyde. Next up after the break, we have a song from a newcomer to the Bruni Music fandom. But first, a word from our sponsor. Is your pillow preventing you from sleeping well at night? Well, kiss those problems goodbye with Flufflepuff's fluffy pillows. Made from the highest quality fluff, these pillows will make sure you sleep all throughout the night. Now available in full-blown beds. Flufflepuff's fluffy pillows. Because every pony deserves a good night's sleep. Good evening. Our top story tonight is 
I, I don't know. It's whatever Mason said it was. Why are you looking at me for the top story anyway? There are rules against someone like me doing the big headlines. Thank you, human hosting laws. So, yeah, I don't have a big story for you. Just get off my back, all right? I'm, so, I'm sorry. I just... I asked out Junebug yesterday, and she said she wasn't interested. And I'm so hungry, lonely. I just... It's starting to get to me, okay? But... I'm a news pony above all. So here's some news. Okay, here we go. Doing the news. Mm. Tragedy struck Ponyville this week as the local grade school adaptation of Mary Do Well Turn Off the Dark lost yet another stuntful, this time straight D plus student snails. When a cable snapped and he plummeted a whopping uh. Uh. <laughs> he's in stableish condition and is expected to recover by his very demanding parents or no dessert for a month. In other news, the dreaded love-numbing fog from Sakura's most recent crazy ass experiment is still covering Ponyville, making life hot very hard for those who need a little love to get their day started off right. No word yet from the mayor on her plans to deal with it, if any, but she has stated that Ponyville being less, quote, namby-pamby and love-filled, end quote, for a while would be beneficial for some reason. At the risk of editorializing, I'm so glad I didn't vote for her. The end. <coughs> Oftentimes in the fandom, there are so many talented people flooding the airwaves that some really good artists can be overlooked. This week, we bring you a song from a young man from Fairpoint, New York going by the name of Taz A. This 15-year-old artist was drawn to the fandom by such notable artists as Brody Dance Party and The Living Tombstone. He's come a long way in improving his work. This week, we showcase one of his newest house tracks, Revival of Tarek. <laughs>
that was Taze with Revival of Tarek. If you want to see more of his work, go to his YouTube page. We will try to put a link in the description. We will return after this short break. Princesses of Equestria have a career. <gasps> it's a very good career, but they do it from time to time. They're a group of Theners, and they call their group the Royal Theners. Let me tell you how all that happened. The princesses were at Canterlot Castle playing Kingdom Hearts until suddenly Twilight Sparkle started to sing the song True True Friends. The other princesses joined her and sung with great harmony. But all of a sudden, a magical bus came out of nowhere and whisked the princesses away to a land um, where... Urban Street? Yes? One fairy. Oh. Thanks, Quest. No problem. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah! One of the royal guards heard the theme, Princesses, and was completely amazed. The royal guard replied, <clears throat> You all should go for a theme career. They all thought it was a good idea, so they packed up their stuff and set off for Manhattan. It wasn't long for the princesses to become big time seniors in the Big Apple, and heck, it wasn't even long for them to take their first world tour. And little did they know that the record studios that they were seen for was an evil organization that was bent on taking over all of Equestria in the name of getting off track again. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> After a while, the princesses began to grow tired of their theme career, and they decided to go back to the record studios and tell their boss, who goes by the name of... Awesome! <laughs> Anyways, the princess is told my brother that <laughs> that they wanted to quit their theme career, but All Star told them that they don't have to do this career all the time. After all, they are the rulers of Equestria, and they have other things to attend to. So, Arthur made this plan. Whenever they get bored, they can always go back into their theme career. The princesses agreed to Arthur's plan, and they were able to sing whenever they got the chance. You know what just hit me? I've known my brother for years. Well, for my entire life. So, how could I have not known that my own brother had his own music studio? Because you never asked me. <laughs> Urban Streets sign off saying, you got the word on the streets, but you didn't hear it from me.
Next up on the countdown, we have All Level at Once with their new song, Phoenix, coming in this week at number 8. song to bring you tonight, but first we have an animation that was recently released by Silly Philly Studio, starring two very talented friends of our show, Jen McGregor and Hannah Trusty. 
This is Fall of the Crystal Empire. Coward. Walled up in his fortress like it were a tomb. Our ground forces can't advance beyond his crystal field. And you know what he can do to our Pegasi, unable to defend their minds with it. We only need a small window of attack. He's lost a lot of ground. The elements should dispose of him. And if they don't? Why would they fail? Hypothetically speaking. Well, hypothetically speaking, we're prepared just in case. <laughs> Indeed. He knows not what forces he is tampering with. Let us not stay his end further. Goodness. No. Luna, please. Sister, it doesn't need to be like this. such legs to protect our petty imperialistic interests. You're a fool if you think that's what I'm trying to protect. curious as to why your sister would fear you. It seems she is right to do so. She does not fear me. <laughs> you will see before long. Do you think she honestly understands the night and all its glory? Do not pretend you do in turn. Oh, I understand perfectly. <laughs> you find me to be a tyrant, yet the best kind of slave is one who is willing. Silence! You can deny my warnings all you wish. It won't change your fate. Save your breath. Even if by some miracle you were to defeat me, you'd only soon fall to your sister. 
Why be forced to choose? Equestria will see many a foe in its future. Would it not make sense for us to stand against them together? We would sooner take our own lives than submit to you. Submit? <laughs> Just like you have to your sister. I admire your resolve. You are strong. Far more fit to rule. Far more deserving of respect than Celestia. You have an opportunity now to take her place. Together, we can show the nation what it truly means to fear the night. You are a fool. So be it. think you found an ally in darkness. Do you comprehend the powers you were gifted with? The same powers I was born into. Where do you think the shadows all go to hide from the precious light? Just who do you think stands against them? What you possess is a mere fraction of their might. The same might I stand unyielding against each and every night. Stay back! You are nothing compared to them. You are nothing compared to me! You claim to know fear? I shall show you true terror! What are you? <laughs> I am a nightmare. Luna! What is it? Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Where are we? What happened to... Sombra is no more. But the Empire... He... I... To banish an entire Empire like that... Which hatred and power were we truly facing? I'm just grateful you're unharmed and we're able to get us out safely. <clears throat> we'll need to bear news of this defeat to our subjects. Not every fight will be a victory. Come, it's cold. Let us return home. Lastly, on Equestria Unlimited, we have a band that needs no introduction. Coming in at number five this week, we have Aviators with their new song, Revenge. Tell me I deserve my sentence But now I'm free I will pay my penance Your hostility towards me is a score I have to settle I can feel the rage burning in my veins Uncaged, I'm going to take the reins Your new throne now begins an age of pain I'll make your castles fall, this time it's personal Fate can kill, but I'm a killer So be still, I'll watch you wither Don't you underestimate The kind of mess that I can make I'm your king, you bow before me So here's the twist, and your 
sets going It's time to be your bitter end Cause nothing tastes so sweet as revenge By my own bloodline, I was cast away. Now vengeance is mine. I've come too far to give up on my plan to win our battle. Forgiveness would only mean you won. I find my way to be so much more fun. I think you'll find there's nowhere you can run. They'll look me in the eye and say your last goodbye. Hate can kill, but I'm a killer. So be still, I'll watch you wither. Don't you underestimate the kind of mess that I can make. If I'm your king, you'll bow before me. So here's the twist, and your sad story. It's time to meet your bitter end. Cause nothing tastes so sweet as revenge. Satisfying by Aviators. This has been another great couple of weeks in the Brony fandom for music and much more. And just because MLP is finished for the rest of the year doesn't mean the fandom stops producing awesome content. Tune in in two weeks as we bring you more great music and news from this wonderful fandom. This has been Casey Hasem, reminding you to keep your hooves on the ground while reaching for the moon. Thank you for watching. <laughs>